Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a tutorial. I did a tutorial on the peanut butter and jelly palette by Too Faced. Um, so if you're interested to get this look right here, then keep watching. Let's get right into it. It. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, this is what it looks like right here. It's very, very compact. Very great for traveling. It has a magnetic closure, which is really great. This is what the palette looks like. It comes with a how-to um, guide. It comes with three looks in there. If you wanted to use this, you can. Um, these are the colors right here. I think they're so stunning. I'll insert some swatches right here. Or um, you can look on my Instagram at Beauty by Fallon if you want to check that out. I have swatches on there of the whole palette. These colors are so beautiful. I think I can use these with a lot of looks. Three matte shades and six shimmery shades. So if you want to get it, it's on Ulta.com now. I believe it's in store. Um, I'm not so sure about that. $36 for the palette. So very affordable. I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation 2-in-1. I absolutely love it. Um, it gives you like a demi-matte kind of finish. I'm in the shade Sand Beige. Um, I think if you use too much, it will be too cakey. Just be aware of that, but it's an absolutely beautiful foundation. I think it blended out really nicely. Um, I like the way it turned out. So I really like this, and it was very affordable. I believe it was like $9. Um, I found it at Walmart. And I recommend you use it with a beauty blender. Um, I think a brush would make it look too cakey, but um, I think it's better with a beauty blender. Use these Salon Perfect um, eyelashes. I think they're so stunning. I, I love them. They're so beautiful. Used my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I think it's so beautiful. I love this highlight shade. It's stunning. I used the RCMA No Color Powder to uh, set my face and it's just beautiful. I love this powder. I used the MAC um, from the Flamingo Collection. This is Have Your Cake. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I did swatches on my channel. Um, I'll link that video down below if you have missed it. I also used the MAC um, from the same collection, the Life's a Picnic uh, blush. The peanut butter and jelly tutorial. I moisturized and all that stuff, so now I'm going to go in with some primer. I'm going to be using the Milani Prime Perfection. This one is the Hydrating and Pore Minimizing. My brows, I used the L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist Definer. This is bomb. Um, it is a dupe for the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. I uh, talked about it in my February favorites. Um, yes, perfect. Perfection. The L'Oreal Stylist Plumper. Just I'm going to go with my Nivea Men's Shave Balm. This just makes my uh, foundation stay longer. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre. It's peanut butter and jelly time. I stayed up last night studying this palette and I have a look in mind. First, I'm going to take Pro All Over Shader from Makeup Junkies. And I'm going to take this, um, it's called this one right here, and I'm going to set my whole eyelid all the way up to my brow bone. It's called Spread the Love shade. kind of reminds me of uh, Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, but it has shimmers in it. Just like windshield wipers motions. 
And I'm just using an e.l.f. blending brush. The star of the show is peanut butter color right here. And put that in my crease too. I'm going to go in with a uh, peanut brittle right here all over the lid. The shade is stunning. I love it. Ooh, so beautiful. And I'm using a MAC. 242 brush if you're wondering this jammin shade right here and I'm going to put that in the outer corner and I'm going to use a elf crease brush purple shade covered in glitter going to take a Beauty Junkies tapered blending brush and I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. I'm going to add a little bit more peanut brittle. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation and then I'll do my bottom lash line and all that. So we'll get back to this. Um, so I'm going to do my foundation. I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect uh, foundation. I'm in the shade Sand Beige. I think it matches me pretty well. The Damp Beauty Blender. I say this is giving me like a demi matte finish. I really like that. I think it's nice. I'm really loving it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like this foundation. It's um, thick in consistency. If you put too much, it's gonna look really cakey. Um, just to let you know that for sure I really like the finish um, it's really nice I'll show you the consistency it's like extreme extremely thick so you just want to be careful you could look cakey with this but yeah I like it I don't know about the concealer part um, it's okay I'm still gonna have to conceal some imperfections set it I'm just gonna set my uh, t-zone with the RCMA powder that got everywhere just everywhere oh my gosh the packaging sucks I'm gonna have to put it in a different container cuz oh my god <laughs> Jeez, man. Okay. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia um, cream contour kit. I'm going to go in with this banana shade under my eyes. I love this. Rewind in the shade Neutralizer. It's amazing. And on the bridge of my nose and I'm going to use my Morphe G2 as usual I love this brush Jeez. 
I will love you for life. Okay, I'm gonna set my under eyes and all the highlighted parts. I'm gonna set it with the uh, Wet n Wild contouring palette. Contouring shade right here. I'm going to bronze up my face with my favorite brush of all time now. This is the BH Cosmetics 124 brush. I love this brush. I think that whole brush set was amazing. I did a whole video on it if you want to check it out. When I saw the pictures of this palette, I was just like, oh my gosh, this jelly shade was calling my name. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, put that in my bottom lash line. It makes like, purple makes your brown eyes just pop, I'm telling you. That is so gorgeous. Oh, wow, that shade is so beautiful. So gorgeous. I'm going to also smudge a little bit of that peanut butter shade in the outer part. Just to give it some dimension, I think. Use the BH Cosmetics 132 brush, and I'm gonna go in with a beautiful golden shade. I'm gonna use that and pop that in the inner corners. I love the shade names, they're so cute. Extra creamy, and I'm gonna put that in the brow bone. It's the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Balm in Nude. It's my favorite one. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes. Apply some eyeliner. to apply some mascara just going to use the Maybelline the falsies push-up I'm going to use my elf blending brush these powders are so pigmented. I'm using the makeup key contour shade and I have to be very careful because they are extremely minted Okay, I applied the Salon Perfect 615 lashes and I'm going to tight line the top with the Maybelline Skinny. I'm going to line my lips with MAC Magenta. And I'm going to use have Your Cake by MAC. I'm going to use this blush by MAC. This one is Life's a Picnic. Going with Laura Geller's Gilded Honey, and I'm going to use an Up and Up brush by Target. I'm going to line my water line with the Too Faced Perfect Eyes. This is the final look. 
I want to thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.